home to the Railroad House Inn. And the Railroad House Inn, home to the unknown. The Railroad House was initially built as a canal workers hotel uh, back starting in 1820, uh, finished in 1823. From that point on, acted as a hotel, but also a de facto train station and was sort of the uh, centerpiece of town. That kind of led to a bit of a body history from the early uh, 1820s till its completion. It was the place that people gathered until they could, you know, come and go on the, uh, the Marietta Line. We had heard a tale of this even prior to buying the business and buying the restaurant and the real estate. And we knew it came up on a lot of people's radar. Myself being from Gettysburg, uh, that kind of piqued an interest as well. But some of the stories that we can corroborate uh, along with some of the other stories start uh, with the upstairs. Uh, a lot of the guest quarters seem to be I would say the most intense activity. It's also a lot of times when it's the quietest here, so probably a little bit easier to pick up on. Room six, which is notoriously the haunted room uh, on the premises, dates all the way back to the late 1800s. There was a ex-Civil War officer who uh, lived out some of his later days here. And according to what's available on the internet um, and what we found and talked to some local uh, historians was that he met an unfortunate end. Um, the story really doesn't go any deeper than that, doesn't say how. But he was always known to be kind of a raucous gentleman with a large beard uh, and smoked cigars. Some of the corresponding stories are with guests uh, coming down to complain in the morning that um, you know they smelled cigar smoke during their stay here, that they thought that was um, unprofessional of us as a business, uh, where we had to sort of reiterate again that we don't allow smoking inside the building, and that that is possible that that could be one of our super uh, supernatural guests. So my first experience with this was about uh, eight months into it. We were all getting ready to basically head out about the same time, about 9.30. And it was when I turned around and noticed there was still a light on in the cellar. Um, so I proceeded to uh, bid everybody adieu for the night, go back in and turn off the light when I quickly realized that the uh, light that was on, uh, we are unable to find an actual switch for it. I realized quickly there was no need for me to turn it off. But in doing so and heading downstairs, uh, I was uh, made aware of uh, what sounded like some men's boot heels uh, crossing the main dining room floor above me uh, all the way into the back room which we're in right now. That being said, as soon as I came back upstairs, a matter of maybe five to ten seconds had elapsed, all the lights were off. I yelled to the employee who I thought it was uh, to no avail walked back through the dining rooms and then again clicked on the lights. Uh, doors were all locked from the inside. And so I thought uh, maybe they have actually got what they needed and headed back out. So at that point, took another five seconds to walk to um, the door uh, that exit out to the parking lot. Saw that everybody was in their car driving out of the parking lot. Being that I am from Gettysburg, grew up in an old house, it doesn't really uh, get me going as much as it does a lot of the, uh, the house guests. Uh, we also have a lot of people who are really intrigued by it, so I think they also uh, come here and are on the lookout for it, so they report back a lot of happenings to us as well. I definitely have felt some energy that's unexplainable. Uh, we've had some mediums pass through the door. You know, usually the last question I ever have to ask anybody is, you know, is the energy positive or negative here? Is it, is it good or bad? And uh, every single uh, medium that has been here, um, I would say counting seven or eight, has all reaffirmed that the energy is positive, um, sort of just energy that is not passed over. We, we talked to a uh, lady named Andy who was a medium uh, north of Harrisburg. She came down here to go to another restaurant upon passing our corner, uh, said she was just drawn to stop here, ended up kind of walking through, and explained to me that there was a woman named Mabel in the late 1800s as best as she could surmise. And she lived um, in Marietta, but was a long-term cook slash baker here at the railroad house. It, it sort of corresponds with some of the trees uh, that were back there. There used to be some apple and peach trees, and supposedly this woman made world famous peach pie. So that's been something that's been brought to our attention multiple times through multiple people uh, while there being very minimal information on the internet. So again, it leads me to believe that, you know, there, that energy definitely seems to exist here. Not necessarily in a positive or a negative way, but almost just, um, you know, I'm still here and still baking peach pies.
Room number eight. Guests have said to have heard footsteps in the room, accompanied by a rocking chair sound, as if someone was sitting there watching them. And in room number nine, the temperature feels a lot colder than what the thermostat says. And guests have said to have woken up to a ghostly man standing at the foot of their bed. One of the other spirits that have said to have roamed around the railroad house inn has been a girl in Victorian-like clothes. She is known to flirt with patrons, as well as move objects around the building. 